Learn with Akash. Today I'm here with another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to see is a new sci-fi or a VFX part of Blender. So the VFX part of the Blender means we need to recreate a scene or uh, make our own VFX, right? So in this video, I'm going to recreate the scene from 2.0. The scene is like the, let me just explain the scene. The scene in the movie is the car, a uh, truck is moving with a container and suddenly there are some dents coming out of the container and the container is exploding and full exploding and full emitting more than 1000 particles of phones. So, and the phones all are glowing in this uh, movie. So that's what we're going to recreate it. So in the name of remaking it, I don't just want to remake it like exact as it is. So until the knowledge we have learned from our tutorials or my previous tutorials, we're just going to gather all the tutorials and emit it on one Blender file. So let's get started. So at the beginning, what I have over here is nothing but a container, which is the, with some texture packs on it. So I have uh, done it using the UV editing thing. So I'll just show you how I did it while I'm animating or shading it using while I'm adding a texture to my dose for the container. And I have a normal uh, low poly uh, truck which I got it from CG Trader. And I have some normal lighting setups. So let me just delete it more quickly. And I have two phones by just I just added a cube and uh, a cube mesh and I did nothing much just crop the you know just crop the sides so it looks like something and I added some circle and I just duplicated it that's all so what we're gonna do is we need the phone to glow right so for that what we're gonna do is select our phone over here and go to the materials tab and add a new material so we have done it earlier in our sci-fi particle simulation that's exactly what we're gonna do now so instead of uh, principle BSDF what we are gonna choose is emission so after we choose emission, let's just go to render view and check how it looks normal like just some white things, right? So let's just delete this uh, phone right over here and we'll just you click on this and what you do is go to the renders properties. I mean uh, over here and click on ambient and bloom. So now you can see some light source or some blooming effect came. So let's just decrease the radius and increase the radius so you can see some thing and intensity if I increase okay clamp okay let's just do the same for knee knee I'm just gonna give it a little bit and threshold not at all I mean little bit of threshold now it looks like the foggy or sorry it looks like it's foggy okay now it's nice and knee a bit and let's just make the earth up pretty black and check how it looks right now okay so this is how our phone looks okay it's perfect and this is what we need it to look like so now let's just make it uh for right now we'll just increase it like uh, make it as a gray or something while we're animating so now we have our phone right so let's just duplicate it shift d and left click to confirm and g on the x-axis and move it over here so let's keep it over there so now we have our ambient blue, but we need to show some difference within them, right? So I'm just going to scale it a bit smaller than the before one. So what you're going to do, we're just going to scale it small. On the height, this is going to scale it on the height a bit more. So it is a bit uh, smaller than before. So, okay. So let's select it again. And on the X axis so that we won't have any difference or something. S on the X okay. and Ctrl G and now we have our two different types of phone this looks like a Nokia phone so no problem we need some difference so we got our difference so now I move these uh, uh, things in a uh, phones in one of the collections so let me just bring this uh, cube to a uh, first collection over here so that when I hide the phones I'll they literally hide it so let me click on select on this first uh, collection and now what we need is our road so for our road what you're gonna do nothing but add a new plane so let's take our cursor point and set it on the middle over here not over there yep. over there not perfectly placed over there that's perfect and let's go to Y orthographic view and let's just add a new plane by clicking shift a mesh and a plane so now we have our plane set it up on the perfect on the y-axis so let's just scale it up on the x so 
I mean not to delete it. So S on the X axis, scale it like this much this big. Let's just move it a bit there. So move on the X axis. Or a little more on the X axis. And uh, scale it a little more bigger. And on the Y. I mean only on the Y. Okay, on the Y it is some. We have done it. So now let's check how it looks. Okay, perfect. The road is not that big as we wanted it to. So let's just make it a little more bigger. Yep, it's perfect. So now what we need is we need a perfect lighting setup like a lamp light setup. So let's just bring it a little more closer over to the our car. I mean our truck. And what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate it three times. Shift to D and move it on the Y axis like in there. Over there and Shift D and move over that side. So there is some dark places and light places. So now what we need is we need to add a road texture to it. So let's go to texture paint and I got a perfect one, nice texture from a CG books. So make sure you go there and take your texture back and go to new add a new material and click on it and click control shift and T. So after that what you're going to do is go to your desktop or where you saved your this thing. So I saved it on textures and this is going to be my road and I'm going to click on this button and now it's going to now you will get a perfect smooth road as we wanted. So I got this road texture and everything is done. So I did some normal uh, face for the glasses and all. I just gave it like a metallic uh, substance. So that's no problem. Let's go to layout mode and let's check how it looks in the rendered view. It looks amazing. So let's just take uh, duplicate these lights over here pretty quickly. Shift D and move it on the other side of the road. So that will get like a lamppost feel and we need to extend the road too. So shift D and extend it over here. Same for this side also shift D and extend it over there. And select these lights over here. One, two and three and move it on the X axis like the corner of it. And at the middle it's a little bit bad. Okay, let's go to the earth. And change the background to black and check how the lighting setup looks like. It's giving you that vibe, didn't don't it? So it's super cool. It looks super good. Not gonna lie. So now we have our this thing, and now we have our phones too. So what we need next? Hmm. Now what we need is our doors for the container. Those are missing. So what we do is we'll just take this phone and keep inside the container and check how it looks for a while. Okay, it just blooms as it is. So let me select this thing, this phone over here and move it. Okay, let me just hide the phones. Okay, now our phones are hidden. Now what we need is our poly mesh, our dose. So let's just go quickly to uh, solid mode or uh, material preview. And now what we need, oh, it's super metallic over here. So shift over here and let's just move this thing, close these things by clicking N. And now what we need, we need a god dough. So for that, what we're going to do is nothing but add a new plane. So shift A, add a mesh, it's going to be a plane. And over here, this plane, what it should look like, it should be 90 degree turn. So R on the X axis, 90 degree. So here you have your plane. So let's just bring it a little up and there up. Now we'll just scale it on the Z axis. So shift, shift Z. And let's just scale it on the Z axis so quickly over there. Okay, perfect. And on the X axis also. So before that, before doing this, if I notice, if you notice, this doesn't look like a container very much super thin and lean it just looks like a piece of paper and we don't need that right to make it solid like we needed to make it solid right look like a like a you know it should be a little more thicker and bolder so for that what you're going to do is go to your modifiers tab over here and add a new modifier which is going to be the solidify modifier so after you modify nothing happens nothing much happens but you can see the thickness has increased 
So we're just gonna increase the thickness by just clicking over here. Uh, I mean, just scrolling and just give even thickness. Now we have an even thickness uh, body. So if we want, we can just increase the thickness more. So how much of you increase that much thickness you're getting? So now we have our container look like a container at last. So the thickness we gave is 0 0.08. So we need to do the same for the dose too. So let's go to solidify and 0.08 so now we have our this thing and even thickness so now what we need to do now let's check the size whether it's the same or not so now it's not obviously so let's just decrease it a bit okay and on the x-axis also and uh, let's just move it on the x a bit okay it looks perfect so let's just you know, make it go in and check so it is perfect, it perfectly fitted my uh, this thing. So now what we need to do is we need to make it, you know, uh, if you see over here, what we I need is this looks like a, you know, uh, those uh, containers, which it looks like a trailer or something So where you can lift the thing up to like, you know, open it. So we don't need that to happen. We need to like two doors over there. So for that, what you're going to do is go to edit mode or click on tab and go to face select and select this face over here. Am I in face select? Yep. So let me just select this face. So I didn't select my uh, object over here. So let me select this object and go to tab. And now let's just add a loop cut over here very pretty quickly. So on the middle, I need it on the middle. So why it didn't come on my middle? So let's just uh, cancel the solidify for a while. So now we have over this thing. So now what we need is uh, we need to just go to face select and click on this face. So make sure you're in box select mode and click on this face and hit X and delete pieces. So now we have our containers over there. So now we need a thickness as before, right? So let's just go to add modifier and solidify. So now we have our modifier and it's going to be 0 0.08 thickness and even thickness. So now we have our door over here. So let's go to object mode pretty quickly and let's just move it a little bit up front. So now it doesn't look or match with my this thing and we, it doesn't act like a door when I rotate it. So let's check where, how it happens when I rotate it. So it just rotates like, like this, but this is not how a door rotates. So for that, what you're going to do is go to tab mode and click on vertices select and select these both points over here. Or let's just hide this uh, truck, I mean, hide this uh, mesh cube. So let's go up and up and up and cube. So let's just hide it and let's select this vertices point over here. So after selecting your vertical point, what you're doing is hit shift S and you will have this uh, menu over here and click on cursor to select it. So our cursor moves to the selected point and now what you do is go to the tab and uh, unhide our cube over here. And now what you do is go to object set origin and origin to the 3D cursor. So now if I rotate it on the z-axis, it act like a door. So now it's pretty good. So let's just control Z to undo everything what he had done. And now what we do is we will just change this way it looks. So what you're going to do is go to the materials tab and add a new material over here. And let's just save our file pretty fast. So by hitting control S and it's saved. So make sure you save it whenever you have done some progress in your this thing. Otherwise, suddenly if any uh, thing crashes means your this thing is gonna, you know, uh, nothing will get saved and you won't, uh, you should worry, you will start worrying about it. So after adding a new material, what you're gonna do is under the base color, just click on image texture and click open over here and come down to the downloads where I have kept mine and in my, its name is trailer. I save it as trailer. So let me just hit search and over here it is. So open image. So after I opened it, it comes like this because I took the trailer image from a, a game. Okay, so let me go to UV editing quickly. And what I'm going to do is hit A when it's in edit mode. Okay, when I hit A, you can see there's a cube orthographic view we need. So U and click on cube projection mode. And since it's a door, what we need is we need to select it on the doorway. So G and select it on that point over there and G and uh, I mean he selected quickly and G on the other point over there 
and g over there pretty quickly and g over there so let's just scroll and check so it's not at all perfect so let's just move it a little more better over here and same for over there and same over there and same over there so now we have this so let's just hit z and go to the rendered view and let's check it doesn't look like anything let's go to inside and uh, cancel our solid effect quickly so let's go to object mode and click on our this material and we have a material right so let's go to layout mode and let's check so we can see our door over here so we should make another door over here so let's just hit shift D and make sure you're in object mode if you're in edit mode what happens is it's just you know uh, consider as it is in a one uh, one object so click on R on the Z axis and hit 180 degree so it turns 180 degree and the virgin point also will, will be all turned so that when you rotate this uh, door it rotates like a door so now let's just bring a little more big front and that should make it good so now we have our container road everything ready but my this car over here is touching the floor so let's just select it very quickly and deselect some things like this road double click on it and this light okay well is my door selected so let's select that also so, and deselect the roads and now we have our container and our this thing so let's just move it up so shift select all this selector and shift and move it up a bit what's happening So I'm moving it up. Move this also up. G on the Z axis and move it up. But uh, okay, a little more I need. Let's just go to X for the graphic view and the other side also. So it is perfect. So let's just move it up down over there and let's check how it is so I need to go a little more up okay done so make this also go up okay done and same for these two shift shift and move it up G on the Z axis up so now we have moved it up and our roads all are ready so now what we need is we need to animate these so i need this uh, camera to go through this container okay let's just go to camera view over here and let's just scroll the lens a bit so that we fit the camera you can see what the camera sees if you go this means this is not what the camera sees the face where you can see a little more uh, lighter that's where what your camera sees so that's what we are going to do i'm just scrolling mouse wheel so that I can see or fit my uh, frame to the camera view and now what I'm going to do is hit shift F to uh, enable walk navigation and what I need is I need to go over here and I need to just give it a look small look of the door and just come up a little more far and the van starts exploding at this stage so that's all what we needed so let's go over here back to the camera view where it looks like how it look how it should look so Q to go down okay now this is where we're doing and hit N and you will see a tabular column over here so click on item and you see location rotation so make sure this is visible for you click on the camera select the camera first or you can go to your collections and select the camera also or click on the uh, left click uh, left click on the camera so now what we need is we need to click on I to add a new keyframe so go to the location click I and add a new keyframe so our keyframes is added so within uh, five next 10 uh, frame the 10th frame what you're going to do is shift f and walk navigation and i need in the 10th frame i need it to look at this uh, trailer over here 
Now uh, let's enable I and I. So in the 20th frame, as I told, it's going to give you a small peak of the door over there. So let it give a small peak of the door. And I and I. Now what it's going to do on the 30th keyframe is Shift F. It's just going to go far further away from this trailer and now it's going to explode at this point. So let me just select right click to confirm I and I. So now let's just hit play and check. That's too fast. So what do you do? Keep your uh, point over here at the zero and hit S to scale it up till 100. Just scale it till 100 and now if you hit play, it is okay, not that smooth if you ask me. So to make it much smoother, what you're going to do is, so I needed to give a small peak over here, right? So I'm just moving it a bit till there, G. And this thing also I'm giving a lot of time. So it's going to be smooth. Okay, now we have this smooth animation of our camera over here. Next, what we need is at the 100th frame, we need this all the things to start exploding. I mean, not exploding to like rumble and turn, I mean, fall. So that's what we need, right? So first, let's animate our container over here. So let's just assume the power of the thing is coming from this side. The wind is coming from this side and we are like making it roll over there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add the keyframe and we're going to animate it on our own creativity. So I'm just moving it on the X axis and rotating it on the Y axis a bit. Okay. Let me just rotate it and let's rot and let's bring it up a bit. And let's just add a new keyframe on the 10th frame of it. Let's just go to the 10th frame and uh, do the same uh, modification we have done earlier. So on the Y axis a bit and on the X axis, I mean on the Z axis and move it a bit there. And I and I and Control S to save all your progress. So now check, okay, it's falling over here and on the 20th frame. We need it to go there this far and a little bit down also and rotation should be done till like half of the thing and a little more there. Okay, perfect and I and I and let's go to the 30th frame and decide how it should look. So it should look like that and it's going to go a little more down over here and it's going to rotate a complete rotation like this much and let's just move it a bit more and down to Okay, so add I and I on the 40th keyframe what it should look like is it should go there and it's rotating is done so over here and rotate and keep it down over somewhere over here and rotate it down and I and I so now let's just check the key animation over here so this is how it looks it's super smooth and it's not that uh, rugged or something so it should be rugged. So that's what we need, right? So now what we're going to do is we'll just lift it a little bit up and let's just give it like, you know, that collider feel over there. So let's just give it a small part of rotation over here. So it just, it just lift a little bit of part of the rotation part. Okay, that's nice. And let's just move it up a bit. Okay, now we have this thing. So let's just click on I and I and now we'll go to the 30th I mean 50th keyframe and lower it down and make it this rotation back to normal like you know back to normal okay and I and I so over here and I and I so now we'll let's just play the animation and see okay now we have a smooth collider over here so we'll just go to this uh, road over here quickly and go to this uh, modify, I mean the physics tab and add collision and go to this tab and add a collision. So now let's just check how it looks like. Okay, not that bad. So next what we need is our doors to also fall at the same time. So 
So let's go to the 100 keyframe and select our doors. And first, I'm animating this door and I'm going to rotate it and do a lot of some animations. So at the 10th keyframe, we'll just make it move like over here on this side and rotate it on this side a bit. So rotate it on the X and on the Z a bit and on the Y too and I and I and on the 10th. 10th keyframe is that so on the 20th keyframe and let's just make it move a little more further and down and on the y2 and let's do the rotation more like over there and over there and over there and add a new keyframe by clicking i and i so now next what we're going to do on the 30th keyframe we're going to do the same over here. Let's just move it on the uh, Z axis, on the X axis, on the on the Z axis, and make the rotation more like on the Y and on the X over here. Yep, it's nice to see. So I and I, and on the 40th keyframe, we need it to fall quickly. On the X axis, make it zero. And on the Y axis also make it zero. And now let's just lift it up a bit. And let's just rotate it on the Z axis. I and I. So now let's just hit play and check how my animation looks. Okay, it looks okay, good. So let's go to zero. I mean our camera view. And go from the beginning and check how it looks. Okay, now we have a small peak. Okay, now our containers also for uh, container also fell and our doors too. But if you see our container, right, it looks super smooth as if someone just hit it. So we don't need it like that, right? We need it to be super fast. So the power of impact is more. So go to the hundredth keyframe and scale it down till like 140 frames. Then let's check how it looks. Okay, now same for this thing also. I'm scaling it down so much. I mean, wait, let me keep my frame over here at the one and scale it down to 130. Okay, now we have a fast and a good animation over here. And now let's make it a little more faster so it's not that much good. So, S to scale and on the 130th keyframe. Okay, nice. So now it's fast. So now let's animate this thing also. This door too. So on the 100th keyframe, it's going to go and uh, click on I to add a new keyframe. I and I. So let's make it a little more. You know, on the 10th keyframe, we need it to be somewhere over there. And on the X axis over here and a little bit down also. And on the X axis, we like turn a bit. A bit. On the Y2, the Z, make it give you that view. And I and I, and go to the 20th keyframe, make the rotations a little more, and move it a bit more, like over there, and over there, and I and I. So now on the 30th keyframe, it should be down already, so make it down and uh, make the x 0 y 0 over up there and over there and on the z axis just move it over there over there and i and i so let's just check the animation how it looks okay this animation this keyframe is not good so let's just make how it looks so on the 30th keyframe we need it to fall, right? So fall over there and make the thing zero, zero and zero. I mean, it's in 200, the thing means it should be more than 200 because otherwise it won't look good. 400, I mean, 500. Let's just check how it looks with this shape much okay no need that much repression let's just delete that last keyframe over there 
and on the one to thirty the keyframe will need to be down and on the z axis and rotate it a bit up and on the x axis bit there and a bit up on the z axis and make it down okay done and add a new keyframe and now let's play the animation and see so it's okay now let's go to our this thing and just play it from 18th frame okay let's just play it from there and let's check okay nice so now next thing what we are missing is we need our trailer to also fall okay, so we'll animate that also so now what we need go to the 100th keyframe I mean 100th frame and let's just hide I mean no need to hide it so we won't know when it's going to collide or something I on the 10th keyframe it's gonna just you know, move a bit of that and move a bit up like that much so it doesn't collide with the thing and I and I and on the 20th keyframe and on this keyframe it should start rolling up a bit more so like that and move it a little bit up and I and I so on this path on the a bit there and let me bring it a little more up and move a little more on the x-axis and a little more over there and let's scale it a bit more over there and bring it up and over there and a little more on the z-axis and move a little bit more up I and I Z and X axis I and I So now we have this animation so let's scroll it up a little bit I mean let it be there only So uh, scale it a little bit smaller for making it a little more faster So now let's check okay it's nice so it looks good to see and I like the way it looks after it fell so now this time only everything should start coming out right so let's make the end keyframe something like this 200 300 and at the 100th keyframe only everything starts exploding in that time itself every particles are gonna come so we have reached the end of the video that means so let's just where's our phone over here let's just move it quickly over on the x-axis and now what we need is we need to add a particle system for it so let's just add a new mesh which is gonna be in this case a uh, cube okay our mesh is uh, done and let's just scale it a bit smaller so s and scale it so small like this small is enough and move it a bit there and over there and over there so our uh, cube is over there okay now what we need is to give a particle so let's go to the particle tab and before that let's just hide this particular tab, this thing container so that we can see how the particles are looking like so go to the particles tab and add a new particles so our new particles is ready so in my previous videos we have learned a lot about this particle system so make sure you have seen it so that it will be much easier for you guys to learn so now if I hit play, you can see this halo objects are falling this thing. So I have enabled the collider for them. It's because of that uh, they are like, you know, colliding with the things. So that's a good one over here. So let's select everything and add collision. And add collision to it also. Okay, so now if we hit play, I mean shift D. I mean shift that arrow left arrow so it's colliding and coming back and it's colliding so that's a good thing and my fps is dropping so for now i'm just 
disabling the collider over here and what I'm doing is I need the particles to come only at 100th keyframe so let's go to the particle system and click on our particle uh, cube over here and it should start at not at the first frame it should start at the 100th frame and finish it at not 200th frame but 100th frame so every particle should be emitted at the 100th frame itself so uh, my particles all are emitted at the 100th frame itself that's a good thing over here and then what we need we need to increase the lifetime to a whole day so till 300 the lifetimes are there now let's just go down on the faces perfect and glitter let it just be random so that it's uh, like this so now if you see they're just bouncing here and there due to their colliders so let's just uh, do a shift okay on the 100th keyframe let's just come and let me just pause it a bit and let's go down and go to the custom prop i mean not the custom field weight and kill the gravity now if you hit play we can see these things it looks good but not that bad okay now we have these things right so let's just uh, shift the side and click on 100 keyframe so for now let it start on 100 so that i don't need to like after it played i don't need to like you know scroll here and there so now what we do is go to the rendered settings and change it from hello to a collection because our phones are in a collection so now what we need is over here jokes as a phones and now if you see it just emits the phones so if i'm not wrong so yep it just emits the phone that's nice let's just see yep it emits the phone and let's deselect it and let's check how oh my god so that's uh looks like that so let's just do scale randomness um, a little bit bigger 0 0.9 is nice and scale randomness also let's increase it or like that much and okay now what we need is we need the rotation and clip on randomize rotation and uh, yeah let it be the same and let's go to the 100th keyframe and play hit play i mean not that just hit play now if you see the phones are random so it's good so that's what we needed so control plus G and uh, shift this thing and now what we need is we have done this thing right so now what we need let's just go to the render view and check how it looks like and when you hit play so it looks like this so let's just go control Z and what we need is where is our camera at this stage and let's just add a new curve which is going to be a busier and uh, rotate it on the X axis R x 90 degree and r z 90 degree so now we have it rotated all nicely so now we need to just connect this part to the object over there so what we're going to do is go to edit mode over here, right here and click on this particular path and g and grab it and hook it to this object over here and bring it up like over there and click on end to hide this transformer button and G and move it up like this curve and E to extrude and let's extrude it a little more upper like this much I should do it so let's just go down and let's go to the rendered preview settings um, let's just move it a bit this side so G on the X axis over there same over here on the X axis it need to go so what is my animation is the particles are going to go through the camera over here so that's what i'm trying to make over here so let's just do that thing okay and let's bring it a little bit up it smooths the over thing over there and let's just E to extrude it so let's extrude it more that way and let's just bring it a bit over there move it on the X and bring it up somewhere over there like that and let's bring it up so now if you see it's going through the camera so that's nice that's what we needed so now what you do is click on the go to object mode click on your curve over here and go to the physics tab and enable force field and if you hit play nothing much happens so shift and left arrow key to go to the first frame 
And now what you do is change the point from point to 2 on the shape setting change it from point to 2 curve. So now also if you play nothing much happens. So now let's just increase the strength something like minus 5 and let's check. Now if you see our particles are following the particular this thing but it's colliding with it so it's just you know bouncing here and there. Just unable collision for now. Okay, now let's just hit play and check. And uh, so they are flowing through it, but they're not flowing fully completely from there to here. So let's just unpause it over here. And now what we do is enable collision for the even the trailer also. Is a collision enabled? Yep, nice. So same for the things over here, the door. Enable collision and enable collision and let me just increase the number of particles over here so let me just go to the particle setting and increase it something like you know 5000 I mean not 500 so I need it to be 5000 so my particles are double right now I mean triple right now so now what we need to do is we need to, to follow it a little much more so let's go to its physics tab and let's just increase the flow something for and check how it looks now so now if you see it looks like something this so is there any collider for it no so let's go z and check how it looks like so let's click on the particles so it looks bad good at least so strength is nice so let's just increase it a bit more and check the flow So let's just pump up the noise someone to 10 and the C to also somewhere like this. Just go a little bit there. The next second my noise amount is higher. It just you know it's super laggy over here. So let's just wait for it to load out. So what's happening over here? Just staying on a particular place. So why is it staying over there? So wait, let's just go to its physics tab over here and uh, decrease the seed amount to 1 and check. So now if you hit play, you should not do that much things. Wait, what if I just move this cube over here? So may stop playing. I need it to be, anyways, it's gonna be inside the container, right? So now I hit play. So my particles are moving, but uh, they are moving only after, you know, they are also getting some animations. Oh, it's because my of my container. So we have hided it, so that's why it's not visible over there. So even we did enable collision for container, right? So let's just go to the cube and go to its physics properties. And uh, I mean, click on the cube and let's go, let's go back to edit mode, object mode. Let's click on this and click on enable collision. And now let's just check how it looks like. So now there should not be any problem because we have enabled the collision over there. So it looks super good. So and it's just following the thing so much. So just decrease the flow amount and check. Okay, nice. For that, not this much also. So let's just decrease it, increase it a bit. Okay, so something like 0 
and check. Okay, that's doing some magic over there, so let's go in zero and check. Look. Wow. So now if you see, I have this car phones and all flying here and there. That's good to see. But on my 100th frame, so let's just increase it from zero. I mean, the start frame should be from zero, right? So over here, if you see, before 100th frame itself, this thing particles all are coming. So I need the particles to emit at the point where here it should start from 120 frame. So let's go to the particle system. So particle system and click on 120 frame and check how it looks like. So let's go back and just click on hit on play. Oh wow! So it worked. So it works so good. So when the container blasts, every phones are coming out. So that's a good view and a good phone we are having right there. So now we have this thing. So let's just check the animation, how it looks like. So now we need to just hide that cube over there and hide the phones over there. And now after we render it out, we are going to get that 2.0 truck scene so badly. So if you notice um, this thing, right? Notice before in 2.0 truck scene, if you see there are some dents coming out right so i'm not doing in this video on that because if i do those dents right now itself it's just gonna be super laggy or something so i don't need it to you know crash or something so let's just save it up uh, fast and let's just move this phone and hide this phone so i will uh, if you need to do it so badly means what you can do is you can just subdivide this mesh and go to object mode i mean edit mode for example i'll just add a hook for you guys and show click tab to go to edit mode and just subdivide it how much ever you want so after subdividing you will have a vertices right so click on the vertices and what you do is click shift h i mean not sorry i mean control h and you will have hook to new object hook to selected object so if you do hook to selected object so my vertices is selected over there so i deselected it because i don't need to hook it right now so if you hook it and how much ever you want so then at the end you can just keyframe it like moving on the x axis like moving over there so that's all so now what we'll do is we'll just take this phone over here so select these phones and bring it down and go a little bit down over there yeah perfect and for this thing let's we'll just scale it a little more down scale it like zero the x zero on the y and zero on the z so now it's technically impossible to see Okay, so now if we hit play and check, so I need it to come. Oh, that's nice. So if you see, my animation is super good. It's literally we can easily see it so badly. So let's just move it a little bit down over here. So I'm moving it down and a little bit inside. So let me just go back and check what happened to it. So let's just go back and play replay it again from first so we have done a no, small modification so it does take some time to load oh, what happened hmm. so we just move it a bit more outside oh it's just because of my curve which is like inside so there right so now if i do and if i check and now if i do so let's just uh, click on the curve and go to tab to edit mode tab c g and g zero now if i see so now if i hit play okay now let's check how it looks like so okay oh my god so what's happening over here is it just going over here and there so i have done something in the animation so oh it's in edit mode that's why let's just go to object mode very quickly now if you see there should be not that much issues so let's just go and check how it looks like so now my things are following but uh, my strength is too much so that it's uh, you know staying over there itself or the strength is too less 
So let's just select the rope quickly and go to its uh, curve, right? So let's just decrease the strength, I mean, decrease it by two and check how it looks. I mean, okay, it's going till up over here, the circles. So let's just increase the strength something like five and seven and check. If I increase it to 8, I'm increasing it to 9, increase the flowing amount also to 1. Now let's check. So now if you see, now at the same time, okay, now this is what I needed actually. So now the phone should go through the camera. So that's nice over here. So let's just pump up the noise amount is pumped and gravitation if I include it means how it looks. Oh my god blasted everything okay let's just check hmm. okay we don't need to just enable the gravitation amount and now let's check how it looks okay now let's see so it works super good and it's turning so much so it's taking some time to you know go through the camera so that can be adjusted by the pathway over here so thank you for watching learn, learn with Akash in this video, if you find it helpful, make sure you cop up with our channel by hitting the like subscribe button so that you don't miss any content, any upload which I upload in this channel. So, uh, cop up with me for more blended videos like this and I upload twice a day, I mean twice in a day. So, make sure you cop up with me. So, thank you for watching and enjoy the rendered video.